For this travel vlog, I'm going to take a quick look at the Micmac Mall, located in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. Well, it was a beautiful sunny day here in Nova Scotia, so it was almost a shame that I was indoors walking around at the Micmac Mall, but I really wanted to see this place. As an American, it's kind of surreal walking around uh, a mall in Canada just because so many malls in the United States right now are failing. Uh, I just went to a couple malls in nearby Maine. You know, the vacancy on those malls were 70, 80, 90 percent, just empty storefronts. So it's, it's kind of unusual for me to walk around a mall where all the stores are open and doing business. It's, it's, it's just a dramatic change from what I'm used to. If you follow this channel, you'll notice that I just did a video on the closure of the Crystal River Mall, which was one of my local malls. Even in the malls that are open, uh, they look terrible, uh, dingy, and here's, here's some footage of the Oviedo Marketplace, which is another mall that's pretty close to where I grew up. The mall was only built about 20 years ago. Yeah, it was built when I was going to college. They've got buckets everywhere catching rainwater from the leaking roof. The parking lot is pretty much abandoned. Most of the anchor stores have gone out of business. Uh, and this is a mall that's barely 20 years old, and it is basically on its deathbed already. So seeing the Micmac Mall that has 120 open stores, it's just, it blows me away. And the food court has uh, no vacancies. I mean, it's a completely full food port. There's amazing stores here. Like, I loved the, the Record DVD store. That was kind of a nice nostalgic blast from the past. Uh, they've got a really, one of the largest GameStops I've ever seen. I actually bought some games there. Uh, it's a three-story tall mall with uh, these beautiful skylights everywhere. And, you know, most of the three-story malls down by me there was always like a dead level where you know, there were no stores or it was just a food court and everything else was closed. Every single level had stores that were open and thriving. It, it just, yeah, I mean, I'm not used to this. I think people in Canada just shop at their local malls and support their local businesses a lot better than Americans do. Americans have gotten so lazy ordering things from Amazon and online that all the traditional malls and brick and mortars are basically dying down here and you know it's it's a major problem there's a lot of people losing their jobs in retail right now and it doesn't seem like it's going to stop anytime soon but for americans considering a vacation up here in nova scotia this is a great mall i mean there are all the major uh clothing stores that you would expect american eagle outfitters aeropostal eddie bauer Foot Locker, even old navy so there's a lot of familiar stores here and Again, they're really well stocked, probably better than the stores in America. I had only um, American dollars on me, so I was kind of in a pinch. Uh, luckily, there is a Scotia Bank on the first floor as well, and I was able to exchange currency. And what's neat about it is the American dollar goes a lot farther up here. My $40 of American dollars became about $55 Canadian. you got to love the exchange rate. As an American, the other thing you notice too is... Um, the food is of a higher quality in Canada. You see, um, the Canadian food standards are higher than those in America, so the restaurants in America use things like pink slime and fillers that are prohibited up here uh, north of the border. The food at the food court was also stunning compared to what I'm used to. So the bottom line is pretty straightforward. This is one of the nicest malls I've ever been to in my entire life. Uh, and if you're thinking about going to Nova Scotia just to shop at the mall, I'd say it's probably worth it, but there's a heck of a lot of other things to do in Halifax and Dartmouth as well. So if you love retail as much as I do, go check out the amazing uh, Toys R Us at Dartmouth Crossing.
Thanks for watching this episode of The Adventure Shmup. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See everyone next week.